all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another strong one reaching us hmm still on the matter well onto these nigerians recant how festus kehamo sued tinumbu for alleged certificate forgery all right my people the news in details well uh 2002 magazine detailed the forgery suit filed by aviation minister festus kihamo against president bola tinumbu who was the then governor of lagos state has resurfaced in the suit kihamo accused tinumbu of certificate forgery and a false declaration and even went ahead to accuse the media of being complicate in shielding the former Lagos state governor. 21 years later, Kiyama, who is now the Minister of Aviation in Mr. Tinumbu's federal government, has reversed his position with claims that the president never forged his certificate despite the disposition of Chicago State University officials who disowned the president's degree certificate submitted to high neck the resurfacing of this story according to commenters might cause a friction in kiyama's relationship with tinumbu recall that a few months ago the spokesperson for the atiku abubaka campaign organization daniel Bwala had proven that the minister of state for labor and the employment festus kiyama once sued the presidential candidate of all progressive congress bola tinumbu for alleged certificate forgery Bwala, in an interview on channels tv on tuesday noted that kiyama had sued the lagos assembly in 2002 over tinumbu's candidacy as the then governor of lagos state citing a law report titled kihamo v house of assembly lagos state 2002 Bwala said this is the supreme court decision in the case i have cited and then i will just read a line well according to this he says and i quote the appellant alleged amongst others as a legal practitioner that he has been confronted by some of his clients who wanted to understand certain things they consider important relating to their contesting the governorship in Lagos state he further that his festus kiyamo alleged certificate forgery against the governor of Lagos state bola ahmed tinumbu and that the latter was not qualified for the office of the governor all right my people i think we all understand what is actually going on well this is what we are talking about you see as far as this you no know, life is concerned we have said it times to that number what goes around will surely come around and then that's exactly what is happening right now now earlier before now this same kiyama that is now a minister under President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu had in 2002 went against the same president about the same you no know, certificate forgery. And uh, right now, a lot of people are now reacting. The whole you know, saga that happened then have now resurfaced. Now, Nigerians are now recounting how the same Kiyama sued Tinumbu for the same alleged certificate you no know, forgery and exactly what we are actually talking about we all need to stand on that truth because it will still get us exposed either we like it or not hey it's not funny at all well god will disgrace all of them even if supreme court's judgment is not favorable no one can manipulate the judgment of god okay that's exactly what had been said by Olaoye francis hmm. Hmm. well you no know, i i always say this that the only thing i believe that would make nigerians or some set of people in fact it starts right a majority of people i am so sure are not supporting bola metunumbu like this time around 
Yes, we don't need the soothsayer to tell us anything. We already know what is going on. Simply because there is hardship in the country and then they believe that, oh, since Bola Metinumbu, President Bola Metinumbu gets in, since he became the president, a lot of things have changed drastically, which is not favorable to majority of us. And then right now, I've said it times around, the only thing that will make a lot of people to say, no, we are not supporting the president on this one is simply because there is hardship and then the people are tired. Well, I'm still getting a lot of comments anyway, but that last one has been said by a Yoruba person. Now, to do that, this time around, it's not about sentiment anyway. If you want to enjoy your life, forget sentiment. <laughs> Leave sentiment out of this. That, yeah, because uh, we be Yoruba people, more follow, more support. Baba. <laughs> we need to wake up. Well, allow you, Francis, I made it clear that God will disgrace all of them, all, even if Supreme Court judgment is not favorable. No one can manipulate the judgment of God. Meaning... Hey, this man believes that Supreme Court might try to maneuver, but they should remember that God will never maneuver anything, that God's judgment is the highest. Hmm. Well, according to Okpata de Olaumi Moshu, they say, Well, this is Nigeria politicians, this is one of the reasons why we may not get it right on time. Hmm. No, I've said it. <laughs> I know I think this is just you know like what I actually said about Nigerian you no know, politicians and there's some set of group that are actually you know gaining from the regime, which is the fact that they are all selfish simply because they are getting from it, they are earning, they are you no know, enjoying the you no know, the presidency, the dividend of everything. This time around, they will not speak out. They will continue to keep mute. They will continue to pretend as if all is well. Simply because for themselves and their own family, they are enjoying nothing concerned there with other people. Even I like when I go kill myself. So far, my own day okay. <laughs> That's the kind of country we are in anyway. That's exactly what we are talking about. Hmm. Festus Kiamo is, is a hypocrite, a man who lacks integrity simply because he wants to grab Tinumbu's money. That is why he shamelessly rege regenerated from the fight he started. Hmm. Well, with his master, how he, f how he started this fight? Hmm. Well, no problem. Meanwhile, as it stands, hmm, Nigerians are watching. Everybody is watching. But remember, if you play Nigerians, you can never play God. Okay? That's another one. <laughs> what goes around comes around, though. Solomon the wise man says, Well, cast your bread upon the water. You will find it one. Okay? Hmm. Our local adage says, Do not urinate into the river. This is because if we do good or bad, it is kept on the anger hand, your close person could come and benefit or be affected tomorrow. All right, and I think we are all getting it. Hey, <laughs> well, that's exactly what it is, anyway. Hmm, the fact remains that what goes around actually comes around, and then either we like it or not, we all are still in it, like I've said severally. We all are still in it together, and then definitely we will still. We will still gain it, either good or bad. Hmm. They are unstable, tossed up and down by the tide of politics. Well, the judges that are manipulating laws today will tomorrow do what Kiyamo has done. Well, Nigeria is broken to prizes, to pieces by elites and then professors, leaving the masses to bear the consequences. And exactly what it is. Now the masses now then go still they suffer. Um, all these things that are happening is at the detriment of the masses, and exactly what it is. That is why I've said times you don't number. My brother, my sister, the the, the earlier we started, you no, know, telling ourselves the truth, acting on the part of the truth, the better we get it right. Or else hmm, we will continue to suffer it together. Well. That, uh, that Kiyamo is a chameleon looking for where he will be in the corridors of power. He has no integrity. That's so, that's so Nigerian's bisha.
everybody have said it. <laughs> hmm. Well, Kiyama will always change side and then talk from both sides of his of his because he is desperate and he is desperately in need and then urgent to lie propaganda and then sell all the lies he can find to venerable Nigerians. Well, God will catch them very soon. God will, in fact, God will catch all of them. The public space never forget. Even now, many more years go still open. Okay, this is just the beginning. Watch out. Well, I hope Asari Dokubo militant is still alive to make his own speech about his Oga Tinumbu certificate saga. Hmm. That's so serious. Well, my brother, my sister, a lot of comments are still coming in right now. What more can we say? The truth of the matter right now is that we have no all known what is going on in the country either we like it or not yes either we like it or not the truth will still be out either they like it or not hmm. except if not if it is not the same god we are serving a lot of people are suffering right now simply because of what some set of people have put in place how long are we going to continue like this about god now your hand with day all right my people this is exactly what it is onto this one what more can we say me well let me have your own take my people on this and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless